Janice Lieberman is now a contributing editor to Reader's Digest magazine. Good morning to you, Janice. Good morning. I know you talked to a lot of analysts about this. You've got some real um, money-saving secrets, starting with when to grocery shop. Is there a best time? Absolutely. There's a least crowded time, and that's after 9 every night, but especially on Wednesdays. If you can shop on Wednesdays, 4% of the people shop on Wednesday, so you're not in big crowds, and you probably won't buy a lot of stuff because you have a lot of time just to impulse buy. Okay, so that's, that's what you're trying to avoid. Next secret is about where the items are placed on shelves. Two points you want to reveal. First one, look high and low. Why is that? Real estate, location, location, location. They actually pay more money, the manufacturers, to be eye level. So if you spend a little time and a little effort looking above or below, you're going to find cheaper items and even healthier items. And even when it comes to the kids, aisles, the cereals and the processed food are at their eye level, not at yours. So they're like, mommy, mommy, I want that. And they're paying extra for that prime real estate. You also say that you should be willing to take a walk. Wear your sneakers because if you want bananas and you want milk, opposite ends of the store. So they plan it out that way so that you'll get to that processed yucky stuff in the middle. So walk around the perimeter and you'll get the healthier stuff fast. Okay, another secret which seems surprising to me is that you will actually buy less if you use self-checkout machines why is that? Again, impulse buying. You see the magazines, you see the candy, the gum. Now, they were staggering numbers. 32% of women bought more if they were at the regular checkout counters and 17% of men. So that's items you really can do without. Another secret, and this is not about saving money, but it's, uh, it's about the carts themselves, to watch out for all the germs. When you've been on before talking about that. We did that investigation and people stop us all the time. It is gross. We found E. coli and coliform on these handles, and especially if you have children and they put their mouths on it, disgusting. Okay, so get one of these wipes, wipe it down if it concerns you, and some of the stores actually offer them. Okay, another, another uh, tip that shoppers should know about secret really is about downsizing. It's when companies make the volume smaller and sometimes they make the box smaller. Yeah, we've also done those pieces, and it gets people mad. So you really have to look at the ounces, see if they've changed. And on mouseprint.org, you can see some of these. They have a whole list of what's been changed. Now, they're very slight changes. Maybe the packaging has a little bit of a hollow center to it and you can't even tell so they're hidden okay also you say never go to the store empty-handed what should you bring with you sounds nerdy but you need your shopping list and you need a calculator and even on your cell phone why you can use you got to figure out the ounces sometimes they'll say buy four limit five these are tricky ways to tell you to buy more maybe they are on special but maybe they're not so you need to sit it down and figure out am i getting more am i getting less and you don't know that just from your head you really have to use it and okay stick to your list okay secret tip number eight fresh fruit you just assume if something costs more the fruit it's going to be better the star but, fruit the exotic stuff right it's often old it comes from very far away buy apples in the fall from your local orchard it's fresher and cheaper. And did you know that we buy 12% of the stuff that we buy every week is thrown in the garbage can? We overbuy, so stick to the list. Another secret is cut those coupons. Yeah, and there are sites that will do it for you. There are online sites that will do it for you. There's couponmom.com, smartsource.com, coupons.com, coolsavings.com. You don't even have to sit with the newspaper and get your hands all dirty. And the final secret, really quickly, eat before you go to the supermarket. An incredible study. 70% of women, when they smell the cookies, bought more. 17% if you didn't smell the cookies. So if you're not hungry, you'll buy less. Yeah, I smell the cookies. Janice Lindgren, <laughs> thank you so much.